Um, many people actually think that um, the major disadvantage for the IGF is that it is not a decision-making body. I am of the opinion that that is a major advantage because this is a new, um, what I would call, or what the UN actually calls multi-stakeholder diplomacy. And civil society who have never been citizens of, should I say, world politics, have been given an opportunity to sit on the same table with governments, with academia, and with many other interest groups, including individuals who have active, actively participated in the development of the internet, uh, as well as the private sector also. So, with this, um, you would notice that countries have a way of dealing with themselves in a diplomatic manner. Um, country A might know what country B wants, but they are not so blunt and they don't speak um, in an, should I say, unruly manner. But with the civil society on the table, it now becomes a game of numbers. Um, you're having multinational organizations who are larger than some countries, all in one pot. And taking decisions might, in my opinion, be a disaster. So I think the opportunity given to people to express themselves is a good thing for the IGF. Yes, I would like to see some changes in the IGF currently as it is, but not in the area of decision making. I would like to see um, more funds provided for developing countries to participate in the IGF and bringing in their own perspective and needs into um, the internet governance discourse. I would also like to see um, more uh, participation from the academic sector as well in terms of um, research, uh, in terms of uh, providing solutions, at least academic solutions to issues which come up um, at the IGF discourse. And I also like to see um, concrete statements, not really decisions, but concrete statements on direction which the IGF should go every year and not just um, lose uh, statements from different organizations.